Hey guys, it's Kate Brochu, and here's what happened this week in Westfield. According to Westfield-based Caring Contacts Executive Director Janet Sarkos, calls came pouring into the suicide prevention line after the news of celebrity chef, author, and TV host Anthony Bourdain's death by suicide, with celebrity designer Kate Spade's suicide just three days earlier. Westfield has new recycling rules this week. Plastic bags and shredded paper can no longer be recycled with residential curbside pickup. Westfield's town council is considering an ordinance that would, for the first time, put regulations on short-term home rentals, such as those done through Airbnb. Westfield public school educators Dominic Sessio, along with Michelle Bells, were named Outstanding Intermediate School Teachers for 2018 by the Optimist Club of Westfield. Google dedicated its homepage doodle on Thursday to Westfield native Dr. Virginia Apgar on what would have been her 109th birthday. Dr. Apgar developed the Apgar score in 1949, allowing doctors to evaluate a baby's condition immediately after birth. Make sure to check out our Tap into Westfield photo gallery of Westfield High School students' prom photos. This week's Ron Bansky & Associates All-State Westfield Athlete of the Week is lacrosse player Luke Hunziker. Coming up this weekend, two men are walking across America to raise awareness of opioid abuse and overdose. They invite members of the community to join in a ceremonial walk from Vavela's to Town Hall on Saturday. And on Sunday morning, head to downtown Westfield for yoga on Quimby with free outdoor yoga lessons and more for the whole family. Then take a stroll to Mindawaskin Park for Art in the Park where you can watch artists at work and create something for yourself. For more information on these events and to learn more about what's happening in our area, be sure to visit the Tap into Westfield events page. That's it for your Westfield Weekly Recap. Be sure to check back next week to stay in the know on Westfield News.